Well, let's have a garden tour. See what the yard looks like after the big storm. Come on, Turner. Turner likes the snow. We didn't quite get all the patio furniture put away before the deluge. Our snow depth gauge got to 14. Then its sun came out for 10 minutes the other day and it settled down to nine and a half. Then it snowed again all night and it got back up to 14. Now it's settled back down to 12. As you can see, the trees are not particularly happy. Lost a big chunk out of the hawthorn here. It's getting old though, so it's getting weak. The other hawthorn survived. The path had to take a detour out into the yard. Cherry tree is one third smaller. You can see the that Tarzan looking stretched rope is uh, wisteria that's been growing up into the trees from that buried little covered bench back in there. That needs to go out. We already had plans to remove these old overgrown junipers and turn them into posts with a beam across to grow some vine up, maybe some hops. The beauty bush is kind of flattened. There's a big giant U under that other pile. Most of this actually fared pretty well. Some branches down here and there, but nothing serious. It's a little tighter through the jungle here. This old apple tree lost a big chunk. I did pretty severe pruning on it last year in an attempt to slowly rejuvenate it. And nature decided to help me. We cut this tree out just this fall in order to put in the new raspberry bed, which has been put to bed by the snow for the winter. Pretty good sized limb, but that'll come out fine. Path to the vegetable garden. And the chicken coop is all much smaller. The chickens do not like a foot of snow. So I shoveled out part of their space, gave them some pecking room. They have a little bit of covered lean-to area that stays dry and they go underneath the coop and nestle down into the straw and dirt they've scratched under there. Lovely sunny day. Didn't quite get all the tomato plants cleared out as you can see. These mounds are a combination of um, cold frames. The square shape back there is a cold frame. The square shape on the end of this uh, row is a cold frame that both have greens up them. them. The one in the back there is totally full of arugula that uh, I'm sure the snow's doing a good job of insulating it, and that'll be perfectly fine when I can open it up again. And there's some beets and carrots still in the ground, and some uh, kale and uh, Brussels sprouts that I got started late that'll take off real big in the spring when we get some light back. And a little bit of collapse on this one tunnel here I'll have to fix. This snow is very wet and heavy. This whole section is fine, but don't know if this will melt before winter really sets in or if this is here to stay. We'll see. It's supposed to be mid-40s by Wednesday. Uh, that'll help, but I think we're going to have snow on the ground through till January. Middle to end of January is likely with this kind of level. We'll see. Anyway, that's the lovely morning the gamble compound.